The modern factory buildings at St. Martinsdijk in the southwest of the Netherlands are used for manufacturing so-called SPS panels. SPS stands for Sandwich Panel System, which consists of hollow panels filled with synthetic resin. Steel panels are available in various compositions and thicknesses. The frame placed between the outer steel plates is made of solid iron, around 4 cm thick. The frame is placed to fit over the lower panel and is then fastened with small welded joints to make sure it stays in the proper position. The lower plate is then cleaned and spacer blocks, made of the same material the sandwich panel is to be filled with, are put in place. The plate, which will be used as the top plate of the sandwich panel, is also cleaned and is then placed on the lower panel and frame so that it fits precisely. The basic material required in this specific case must be preheated to a temperature of 125 degrees Celsius. Depending on the welding sequence, the welding can be carried out by either a welding robot or, as in this case, by hand. Two injection holes and two overflow holes are drilled into the hollow panels, which allow the synthetic resin to be injected by machine. To prevent the panels from deforming during the injection and hardening process, heavy weights are placed on the panel. The synthetic resin is injected until the panel has been filled completely and the resin emerges from the overflow holes. The panel is left to lie for five hours to allow the hardening process to complete. After hardening, the panel is placed in an ultra-modern drilling machine. The fully automatic machine drills all holes needed for later construction, as well as carrying out any milling required. The Dawson Bridge project involves carrying out around 16,000 drilling and milling operations. After the drilling process, the filling and overflow holes are sealed very precisely by welding. Samples of the synthetic resin are taken regularly and their breaking and bonding strengths are tested.
When the process has been completed, the panels are loaded into a container for shipping. In this case, they will be transported to Edmonton, Canada, where they will be used to give the city's Dawson Bridge a lighter and wider road deck.